March 19, 2016, an ominous day in the annals of aviation history, etched with the tragedy of Fly Dubai Flight 981, the Boeing 737, 800, a workhorse of the skies, lifted off from the bustling city of Dubai bound for the quiet Russian town of Rostov-on-Don. The aircraft, brimming with 55 passengers and seven dedicated crew members, hummed with the usual buzz of a routine flight. Each person on board, a unique story, an individual journey, unknowingly intertwined by a shared fate. As the plane ascended, the weather at Dubai was clear, with the sun casting a warm glow over the city. The passengers would have seen the city's skyline receding in the distance, possibly waving a silent goodbye to their loved ones. Meanwhile, the dedicated crew prepared for the long journey ahead, their minds focused on safety and service. However, beneath the facade of normalcy, a sinister storm was brewing. The weather at their destination, Rostov-on-Don, was far from welcoming, with reports of poor visibility and high winds. Despite these challenges, the experienced crew pressed on, trusting their skills and the strength of their aircraft. Little did anyone know that this routine flight from Dubai to Rostov-on-Don would turn into a nightmare. As Flight 981 began its descent into Rostov-on-Don, the pilots faced a formidable adversary, weather. The conditions that day were far from ideal, with gusty winds and visibility that was less than optimal. The wind was howling like a wild beast, its power and unpredictability a challenge even for the most seasoned pilots. Visibility, a crucial factor in any flight landing was reduced to a mere haze. The pilots, seasoned professionals, were determined to land their aircraft safely. They navigated through the storm, their skills and years of experience tested to the limit. The plane danced in the tempest, buffeted by the winds, but the pilots held on, their hands steady on the controls. The first attempt at landing was a duel with nature, a tense dance of man against the elements. The aircraft descended, the runway in sight but the wind was too strong, the visibility too poor. They made the decision to go around, to try again. It was a tough call but safety was paramount. The second go-around saw the pilots wrestling with the same challenges. The relentless winds, the poor visibility, the immense pressure to land safely. They maneuvered, they adjusted, they fought with every ounce of their skill and will. But the weather was an adversary too powerful, too unpredictable. In the end, the relentless weather proved too much, and Flight 981 tragically crashed during its second go-around attempt. In the wake of the crash, a wave of shock and grief swept across the globe. The loss was profound and deeply felt, as all passengers and crew on board Fly Dubai Flight 981 perished in the tragedy. As the dust settled, the painstaking task of investigating the incident began, with the world watching closely. Initial findings pointed towards a cocktail of unfortunate circumstances. Inclement weather, including high winds and poor visibility, appeared to have played a significant role. But the investigators also began to consider another element, potential pilot error. It seemed possible that the pressure to land despite adverse conditions may have contributed to the catastrophe. The response from Fly Dubai and the wider aviation community was one of deep sorrow and commitment to uncovering the truth. Fly Dubai pledged full cooperation with the investigation, and a collective resolve emerged across the industry to learn from this tragedy and prevent such incidents in the future. Internationally, aviation authorities paid close attention to the findings. The incident prompted a re-evaluation of safety protocols, with a renewed emphasis on improved training for pilots in dealing with severe weather conditions and decision-making under pressure. This tragic incident served as a stark reminder of the unforgiving nature of aviation, forcing a re-evaluation of safety protocols worldwide.